Rescue CPR is the performance of active compression decompression CPR, or ACD CPR, in conjunction with the Rescue Pod ITD. This device combination delivers IPR therapy and increases the likelihood of survival following cardiac arrest. Recall that during conventional CPR, positive pressure generated during compression circulates blood forward, while the negative pressure, or vacuum, created during decompression refills the heart. Optimizing preload is critical for maximizing the effectiveness of CPR. ACD CPR is performed using a handheld suction cup device that adheres to the chest, which is compressed to the same depth as in conventional CPR. Active compression circulates blood forward, forces air out, and slightly increases ICP. During decompression, instead of relying on the chest to passively recoil, the ACD CPR device actively lifts it. This optimizes chest wall re-expansion, creating the critical vacuum that refills the heart with blood, draws air in, and slightly lowers ICP. ACD CPR does a good job of actively compressing and re-expanding the chest, but an open airway limits the vacuum that can form, and the result is that negative intrathoracic pressures may be similar to what occurs with conventional CPR. Adding an ITD to ACD CPR prevents the influx of air during the active decompression phase. This significantly enhances the vacuum, resulting in both improved blood flow back to the heart and significantly lowered ICP, which enhances blood flow to the brain. These devices work together synergistically to create better blood flow than either device used alone. The ITD corrects the inefficiency of the open airway, which enhances negative pressure and increases preload, while performing ACD CPR actively expands the chest and further optimizes the hemodynamic effects. A force gauge on the ACD CPR device is designed to guide both compression and lifting forces. A metronome tones at 80 per minute as a guide to the proper compression rate. Rescue CPR is performed at a slightly slower rate than conventional CPR to give the heart more time to accommodate the improved preload and cardiac output. Timing lights on the ITD flash 10 times per minute to promote the proper ventilation rate. In summary, Rescue CPR is designed to correct the inefficiency of CPR and actively re-expand the chest, all while promoting high quality. Preclinical studies have shown that, compared to conventional CPR, Rescue CPR doubled blood flow to the heart and produced near-normal cerebral blood flow. And a large clinical trial found that Rescue CPR increased survival at one year by 49% compared to conventional CPR. Zoll Medical. For more information, please visit us at zoll.com.